Now, if you thought your daily commute by bus was the one place the electronic voice could never get you, think again. Transport for London has now trialled the first talking buses to make sure you never miss a stop. Our transport correspondent, Andrew Wynne Stanley, was given a ride. CJ is a guinea pig, and so is his bus. Because he's testing out new technology that will transform bus travel. Angel Corner, a light here for North Middlesex Hospital. What do you think about that? Will that be useful information for you? Good idea. It's a good idea. Yeah. It's nice. At least you know where you are. And you still can travel on the bus with your eyes closed. You still can listen to the voice. If I'm sleeping on the bus, that can help. <laughs> and um, some people don't know their stops. London Bridge Station. The talking bus will wake up sleepers, but it has got greater potential, perhaps encouraging on people for whom bus travel is now almost impossible. We've had cases in the past where people have got off buses at the wrong stop, thinking they were in a familiar area, but they weren't, and they've got into very serious difficulties. Certainly we should be publicising to our clients that uh, the buses are, uh, now have this sort of system. Five Bendy buses are piloting the system on the 149 route. It uses satellite navigation designed by technology giant Siemens. But the question is, can you trust it? And many visually impaired people will count stops. That's what they, that's the sort of um, the only solution they have today. So we have to make sure that we do actually announce all of the stops and show all of the stops. Combination of the speech and the audible sound and the sign should help them. The bus voice had turned up in person, radio presenter Emma Hignett. If the trial's successful, she'll have to record the names of 18,000 bus stops. I mean, how long do you think it's going to take you to actually voice up all those, all those stops? <laughs> I was trying... Oh, no, I reckon it's probably, if you work solidly, about three and a half months. This is all part of a £117 million programme called iBus. Now, as part of it, it's also going to include better information at bus stops. So therefore, when your countdown timer says the next bus is due in seven minutes, it actually should get here on time. Andrew Winstanley, BBC London News.